Isaiah, in your first six games last year, you had three hits. Tonight, three hits. What? What's the biggest difference from one opening day to the other? Um, I was really confident going into this year. I uh, adjusted the, the work I put in and this off season, so I'm just, just ready to get going. Super excited. What about the scouting report from Pilchard? Let you take him deep, hit a double <laughs> off him? Hmm. Um, I mean, he just was uh, a lot of heaters, and obviously I'm a basketball guy like anybody else would. So uh, this is ready for the heater. He got one right down the middle first at bat, and then uh, worked a couple pitches the next at bat, and just got another good one to hit. So yeah. whole lineup yourself includes swinging at the first pitch early and often. Is that whole team philosophy right there? Yeah, I mean uh, we had a couple of scrimmages where we'd have some. Um, we had to run like poles or something if we didn't swing at the first pitch fastball if it in the zone. So that's what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to be aggressive and uh, early in the count with fastballs. So yeah. Is that a point of emphasis with a pitcher of their stature that came in having, I'm not sure you do this, but in basically 20 or so innings last year, he gave up seven or runs? I, I actually didn't know that, but I mean, we just did our scouting report and he just was uh, a lot of fastballs really in the count. And you know, he's usually going away. He didn't like to come in on lefties a lot. So I was just ready for it and got out over the plate. A lot of our guys were ready for it, so yeah. More confident this year on opening day than maybe last year? Hey, 100%, 100%. I, I just trusted myself and understanding I belong here because last year I was super nervous and just like didn't know what, what was coming, but I was definitely ready this year. What, so, were, what were your thoughts about Thomas's performance tonight? I mean, unreal. That dude can chuck it. and He um, he was usually lives off his heater and struggled a little bit getting up in the zone, but he just went back to a slider and it was just in the zone and often, so really good. There are a lot of uh, new faces this year. 27 new players are on the roster. Was it difficult to uh, adjust to uh, a new locker room, or did you manage to connect with everyone pretty quickly? And build um, I feel like we did a good job in the fall. You know, our very first day of practice, we had like a devil's challenge where it was just a tough 115 degrees, and we ran two miles, did a bunch of uh, stairs and stuff, and it instantly gave somebody, or everybody on the team, something to bond on in the locker room. So it was just right to talk and bonding. So I think we just, right from the start, we're just good clicking. Thomas, was uh, there any nervous energy out there at any point today? I mean, yeah, you just gotta, you gotta deal with it and adapt and, you know, just figure it out and ways to work through it. Is, uh, what, what about sort of the, the strong start attacking hitters uh, sort of allowed you to get in a rhythm and sort of settle in out there? Um, for me, starting ahead is the biggest thing. Uh, and you have many options to go with. Uh, like, like early in the game, they built a lot of confidence, I feel like, for me, uh, when things were going well. I and mean, then when things went bad, obviously, I slowed down and reset, I guess flushed it, whatever just happened, and on to the next guy. We just talked about it yesterday, about the uh, the need to you know give up the big hit and then keep going. That was something that maybe last year's team didn't do so well. Do you feel like you did that really a lot better tonight? Yeah, I mean, I feel like Everyone that got hit around a little bit or whatever, they all bounced back. We all bounced back pretty good today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for tomorrow. How did you feel just about your stuff and how it was working tonight? What you were wanting to get to and able to get to? Yeah, I mean, everything was working really well today. Uh, pretty amped up, uh, but excited to get the first one under the belt. So. You were in the dugout for a very long time during that second inning when it just felt like it just wouldn't end and all the offense from people like Isaiah and other such. But I mean, what were, what were your mind process going in the second inning when you knew going to the third you were going to have that big cushion of insurance, I guess? I mean, for me, that's huge. Like, pitching when it's even is definitely a lot harder than pitching when you're up a ton. <coughs> like, you can you can pitch a little more relaxed and like just pound the zone and trust that the defense will make plays. Thomas, as I was saying, now you usually live off your fastball. Breaking stuff is working really well tonight. How did establishing your fastball allow you to really mix in your stuff well? Um, I would say just, I mean, my slider would definitely be like my pitch that I can get whenever, wherever. Uh, and obviously, like my other off speed was working really well tonight, so that really helped a lot. So. Brandon, being a redshirt freshman, didn't play last year. First as a Sun Devils, a home run. What does that mean to you? It was huge. I mean, just makes you feel like all the hard work you did paid off. Game one, we won, and keep moving forward. How does this feel to you know be back out on the field again and be able to have that kind of performance tonight with some other group of guys rallying around you? Feels good to play meaningful baseball again. I mean, summer ball is fun stuff, but playing for a school and 
the state of Boston. So, uh, and then to you agree with uh, you know when you're looking back at your your summer experience as well. Absolutely. I mean, there's no better feeling than wearing the devils across your chest. So it was super fun. And the boys behind you, and we're a lot of energy today. So it's really super fun. Continuing to pour it on, I guess, in the opponent that made a regional last year is that just part of the higher standard that you guys are trying to live up to this year and to achieving the whole laundry. 100%. I mean, last year we just fell up short just by possibly one game, so we're just full throttle this year because people at the selection show don't really like us much, so we got to prove it to them. Thomas, what was your process throughout the week um, in terms of strength training or uh, just your routine? How sort of similar was it to, to recent weeks? Was it a constant thing that sort of allowed you to, you know, uh, get familiar with how you were going to cut down for the match? I'd say uh, building up in the inner squads, um, just adjusting to hitters, like one of the top lineups in the country, I would say. Just having to face them day in, day out. Uh, and then just like the mental side, like mentally preparing every night, like every fit, every hitter that I faced out there today, like I've already faced in my head before. Mm -hmm. So it's just easy. So you know everything that's going on. With the mental imagery you were, you were talking yep. about the other day, yeah, so uh, in sort of your prep and watching this team, the Santa Clara team, lots of good hitters on that team, what, what was, uh, how often is, is that uh, sort of imagery thing? Is that like a nightly thing or just a, uh, what are some of the details around that? Yeah, I mean, I like to do it every night. I watch a, like, like a 10 minute Brian Kane video. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think that really helps me lock in, like, Every single day I come to the field, I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I've been there before. So, for all you, for all you guys before the game started, was there out in right field? Was that a little team prayer kind of thing that you guys were doing? No, uh, Carlo was rapping. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was there was a prayer before that everybody when everybody's on the knee with their hands around each other, then uh, we had Carlo and yeah, he was rapping a little yeah. bit, getting us hype. So. Freestyle? What, what was he? Yeah, doing? I mean he he likes. It. So our first. Um, Scrimmage in the fall against the team against San Diego. Uh, he was just like a guy I got a rap for everybody, and then he's just one of those clubhouse guys everybody loves. So, like, he just got us super excited and got us going. So, he wanted to do it again today, obviously. So, you so gonna you let him, him do it again tomorrow? That's no, no, no. He, he wanted to do it, and we wanted him to do that. So. You gonna let him do it again tomorrow now that, now that you want? He wants it. He wants it. He's got it. Yeah, for a lot of talking about yesterday, how he's kind of like sneaky, funny, but doesn't. Is that kind of his personality you described? Yeah, I mean, he's just a goofy guy, just long levers. He's always super goofy, but he's just a really funny guy. Like, anything he says, it'll just be out of nowhere, and we're just all laughing. Brandon, you were one of many people who mentioned in the preseason about how deep this offense could be, about, you know, 15, 16 guys deep and the ceiling that it could have. Yeah. Obviously, tonight's one game, but 11 runs. I mean, what is the ceiling you feel like for this offense? I mean, it's, I'd say, like, the expectation, I feel like, just aggressive just continuously just pouring on runs and hits and just quick runs, you know, that's what we expect. Um, Isaiah or Brandon, sometimes it can take a while for you to start to see the ball well at the plate. How does it feel to just right out the gate um, start out hot like this? And what do you think that does for you going forward this season? Um, I think it just starts in the scouting report and kind of like Lee was saying, just mentally preparing yourself for what you're going to see. Because if you watch enough video, you know exactly what's going to come. And I feel like we did enough of that. And, Understand that guy's a fastball pitcher, and I'm just ready for that heater. Thomas, how much did getting that early lead help you settle in to that first outing? Uh, I'd say my first college outing, it's definitely definitely helped a lot. Like knowing that the defense and the bats got my back, and anything that happens, like, they're always going to be there. Thomas Peraza said that the reason you were out there starting was because, well, part of it was because you, if someone allow, if you allowed a run, or if the team allowed a run, you were not going to get discouraged. How did you uh, respond when John John Baring hit that first home run? No. I mean, you just got to bounce back. Yeah. Hitters hit. I mean, like the whole staff today even came back and everyone bounced back good, I thought. All the the mental side that's everyone's been putting in paid off today. What did you make of Baring's night? He had a couple of home runs. He only had one last year. I mean, he's good. He can hit. <laughs> Actually, our scouting report on him was uh, Play him in a little bit, play him a little full side, and because he only hit one home run last year, so we weren't expecting that. So, yeah. Just had a good night. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.